All right, so today we are swapping out this network switch. As you can see here, it's got some ports that are bad. There's nothing that's plugged into them, but yet it's showing activity. So we're gonna be swapping out this switch for another edge switch 48 500 watt unit. This one's a 750, I believe, but they've only got like a couple of access points that need PoE, so there's no sense in putting in a 750. So what we're gonna do is we've already marked where all of these go into the patch panels here. So we're going to literally unplug everything off of the switch. We're going to take out the switch, put the new one in, put everything back, and then re-upload the configuration file for this switch. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start by removing all of the patch cables here. And we're just going to lay them on the table here. Okay, that goes to number six, goes to the phone system. There's six. That's the one I had written down incorrectly, so we're gonna unplug that. Leave it hanging out here. Unplug. Tell you what, we're just gonna do it like this. Unplug, 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 unplug. Unplug, 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 unplug. And then we can go back through here and start kind of pulling some cables out. Ah, yes, this worked much better. The red ones were for the original access points, but we have doubled the amount of access points that are here. Dang, those are a little difficult to unplug. They've never been unplugged before, so. Now, given that this is a layer two switch, it really doesn't matter where things are plugged into because we're not doing VLANs or anything here because uh, everything is literally just on the same network. Don't really need to separate anything out. So as you can see, this is still kind of a mess here. So we are going to, um, we're gonna try to clean this up a little bit before we get in here. So let's see here. Data 18 goes to X4 there. Yeah, my Unify instance is going to complain because I just, <laughs> just ripped everything apart. I really need to get some zip ties to zip tie this switch down, but... So that one came from D30. Let's see if this one's a little bit longer. Okay, that's an unmanaged switch, so it literally doesn't matter. So 26 through 30, right here. Okay, and I got one more that goes at 26. And I'm gonna go out and grab some zip ties just to make this look really nice. I'm trying to keep everything clean and organized. This is a really small rack. The original company that installed all this, I'm not sure why they did such a small rack. Because I literally have to force this door shut.
I'll figure out where that goes. Oh, data 18. X4. Oh, so X. What? I gotta look at my thing there. I don't remember where the heck. Oh, this one goes to the uh, uh, Judge Exec. Okay, so not gonna be a whole lot I can do on the phone stuff. Because that is not. That's not stuff that we do. And we did not install this phone system. So I am not going to touch it. I will clean it up, but I will not touch it. All right. The rest of this I ain't going to mess with because it's, it's kind of sloppy. I will cut the tails off these zip ties that never get cut off. Gosh, the depth of this rack is literally just enough for the power connector to fit on the back of the uh, edge switch. It's a 90 degree connector as well. As it's, this rack is way too small for this switch. Oh wow, this thing is incredibly dirty. <laughs> well, that just fell out of it. Thing. And there's the new switch. Well, technically not new, but. Also, these rack screws are not in the right spot. All right, switch is installed. So now we need to start plugging things back in. So the first thing we're gonna plug in is X zero. That goes to land one. Two, seven, eight, Okay. 
Be for two. Next one is be fourteen. Be fourteen. Be seven. 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 Okay. So that pretty much takes care of everything with the new switch, even though this does not look great. Ugh. You literally just have to just part it over to even get the door to shut. Because there is no room. How can this shut? Oh my gosh. Just afraid I'm gonna break the door. And the lock is broken too. God, I hate that so much. It's working though. All my devices reconnected. All right, well, I, uh, I guess that's pretty much it that I have in this video. Don't, uh, don't have a whole lot else to show. So yeah, peace out.